former executive director supervision at Bank of Uganda, Justin Bajenda, is wanted for smuggling vital documents out of Bank of Uganda through an emergency door. The documents in question form the basis under which Greenland Bank was liquidated and its assets disposed of under unclear circumstances. Bajenda, who is reportedly out of the country through her lawyers requested to appear before the committee on Monday next week. And please, since she has been communicating via electronic, clerk communicate to her email a summon, okay? That your summon has been extended until Monday, the day you have requested. It has been extended for the second time. If she doesn't appear, I don't think we'll be able to discuss it. If she doesn't appear on Monday, we are not going to discuss Mrs. Vajenda's appearance again. Earlier, Vajenda's bodyguard, Juliet Adikorich and driver, Job Turiahawe, were handed over to police for further interrogations. The two told us that they did not know what they were carrying. Unfortunately, the first the, the first person that is a decorate carried something that was open. It was a plastic uh, bag, cavera blue in color. It was not sealed, it was open, but she couldn't see inside because she told us that for her she was so concerned with security that she didn't bother to look into the bag to know what she was carrying. They were found to have lied about their movements with Bajenda on the day documents were carried out of Bank of Uganda. Why did you have to lie? And please don't lie again. I remind you, you are still on oath. Don't lie again. I did not intend to lie. You say, according to the statement, that you just drove from the airport straight to the what? To the yeah. bank. And it um, took you six hours. And, and now we are seeing that actually you left the bank, left the airport at 12. And by one something, you were already in town. And you went and parked in Kiswa for three hours. Wherever you parked, we are going to know. And from there, that's when you went to the bank, meaning you actually lied on off. After taking oath on Wednesday, a select committee was set up, headed by UPDF representative Francis Takirwa, assisted by Betty Muzanira, Andrew Aja, and Nathan Itungo. It is this four-member committee that reviewed CCTV footage taken from Bank of Uganda in which ADs were seen taking documents out of the bank. The probe continues with Justin Bajenda expected to appear on Monday. Henry Okrut, UBC.